Hey what's going on guys, it's Frolix here, bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the best ways to make money this week in GTA 5 Online, and there's some pretty decent ways that you guys can make a bunch of money. It's not the best week to make money, so I'm going to be giving it a money making rating of 7 out of 10 since you can't use any of your businesses to make that much money. But it is still a great week to make some money, and if you guys do need some more money in GTA 5, Go enter the giveaway that I'm doing on my Twitter right now. You have a chance to win some awesome prizes for PC, Xbox, and PS4. So everybody has a chance to win something awesome for their platform. And this giveaway is sponsored by Digazani. So if you guys do need any money in GTA 5, go check them out down below in the description. You can get all of the packages they offer, including some of the ones that are in the giveaway, 10% off by using code FROLIC. So go check them out down below in the description. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a ton of awesome ways to make money. So let's just jump right into it. So number one, you guys can actually still get a million dollars for doing your daily objectives. You do need to do 10, so if you haven't been doing any daily objectives since last Thursday pretty much, then you're not going to be able to get the free million dollars. But if you did do some of these daily objectives throughout the week and you haven't finished them all, you still have like two days left before it ends, so you still have a chance to get that free one million dollars. And of course, if you have Twitch Prime, all you got to do is just sign up for an account and then link it to your social club or whatever, and then you get a free 1.25 million dollars and some awesome discounts as well so if you guys haven't done it already go do your daily objectives sign up for twitch prime and get that free money so let's jump right into the very first thing that you guys can do to make money this week and that's going to be doing the issy races now these races are pretty hard to do compared to some of the other races especially if you don't have a custom vehicle and this week you can get the vehicle for 50 percent off and i highly suggest you guys do buy it because if you don't you're most likely going to be in the back of the pack instead of in the front and you're probably not going to win it's only $180,000 to purchase the vehicle, and then of course, just upgrade the normal things like the engine, transmission, and braking. You don't have to do any cosmetic features, and then you guys will be able to win a lot more races. Now, like I said, these races aren't like normal races. They're a lot harder, and they're a lot more complex in certain ways than some of the other races. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to win them. If you guys already know how to win some of these races, just skip ahead into the video. But if you don't, and you're a new racer in the game, or you don't really play these races, then definitely listen, because it will help you out a lot. Now, some of the things are very similar to some other races, like for instance, driving on the sides of the track and driving on that red and white thing, and it actually does boost your speed, and it helps a ton in the race. Now, the race that I'm doing about 12 people in it and you can have up to 30 so obviously you want to find the lobby with the most amount of people and if you don't have a custom vehicle you're most likely going to be in the back of the pack like in 15th to last place and if you do have a good vehicle which is obviously custom you're going to be in the front of the pack most of the time now these vehicles are very very delicate and what i mean by that is if you even touch another vehicle while using this thing you will most likely end up spitting out. Sometimes that doesn't happen, but it's better to be safe than sorry. The race that I'm doing here, I didn't try to hit anybody. And if you guys really want to have a good experience while you're doing these races, honk your horn and most of the other people will honk back. And what that means in GTA 5 is that you're teaming up with them, which pretty much means you can just split stream each other without you guys actually hitting each other, which is something that's very, very useful because these cars will literally spin out so quickly. And if you guys help each other out, you'll be able to win the races a lot faster. Now during this race, I went from first place all the way to ninth place and then I managed to come in second place in the end and I wasn't aggressive at all. I was just minding my own business, just doing my own race. I let anybody who wanted to split stream me because I just split streamed them after and I managed to come in second place. And a lot of the people that were ramming into each other ended up coming in last place or close to last place because the cars spun out and they honestly took a risk and they lost a bunch of money because you can actually make a ton of money if you end up coming in like at least the top five in these races. And it's really not that hard. Like I said, you wanna ride on the sides of the track, I guess, those red and white things. You wanna split stream whoever you possibly can and try not to hit anybody because when you hit somebody, you're most likely gonna spin out. And if you do have a custom vehicle, make sure that you're using it and sometimes they don't put custom vehicles on and it really does screw you over but don't worry the next race hopefully they'll have them on now when you go through tunnels with these vehicles they're very very slow when you just drive completely flat in the dead center middle so when you're going around turns what you guys want to do is of course go up onto the side and then go shoot back down and you'll get a huge speed boost while doing that and most likely pass some people that were in your proximity during the race and you'll have a much better chance of getting ahead of them like i said though 
If you're doing these races, don't be aggressive with the other people that are racing. All you want to do is just let them pass you and then just split stream them and then you can catch up to them. The whole race I was honking my horn, teaming up with the other people in the race, letting people pass me and then I passed them after and I managed to come in second and it was honestly a pretty decent race. It's not like some of the other races like the Hot Ring Saber races where it's pretty much just hell on earth and you're crashing into everybody and if you crash you're in dead last automatically but doing these races are really really fun to do and they do take a while as well but honestly it's worth it this race took about 16 minutes to complete since it was five laps but it did pay out in the end because i did get a ton of money and a lot of rp as well and of course, when you do get to the end of the race and you're in a pack with like four people, it's every man for themselves. So you want to stay away from them, split stream them, even break a little bit so you could split stream them and shoot past them at the very end because it does make a huge difference. But you guys can see how much money was made and how much RP was made as well. And it truly is worth it. Now imagine you had a full lobby. We didn't even have half of a lobby and look how much money the guy that came in first made. Even I made a ton of money. So if you had a full lobby, you'll most likely make over $120,000 if you win and at least $60,000 if you come in the top five but these races are very very good to do and i highly suggest you guys go and play them right now so next up let's talk about doing lamar's lowrider missions now this is probably the worst way to make money this week in my personal opinion but they are really really fun to do if you've never done them before i think you guys should go and try them out because they are really really fun to do it does require four people minimum to do these and the best part is all you got to do is go over to benny's where the mechanic is and then once you're there just click start and you'll automatically be put in a lobby and you'll have four people in it which is pretty awesome so there's really no waiting around for people to join which i thought was awesome and pretty much the whole purpose of them is you just go and kill the vagos and the ballas in gta 5 and then you're pretty much done which really isn't that hard but try not to die because if you do end up dying after you lose one of your lives the whole mission will reset just like how heists do so try not to die don't be stupid don't run right into the gunfire and die which i did a couple of times and so did my other teammates but we did still manage to beat the mission. Like I said, it's probably not the best way to make money this week. I only managed to get around $20,000 from beating this. I'm not sure if it was on hard mode because I wasn't the host, but if it was on easy, I only made 20K. And hopefully it was on easy mode because if it wasn't, then you're not gonna make too much money from doing these missions. But if you've never done them before, I highly suggest you do them. They're really fun missions to do. And I'm pretty sure you do unlock some discounts for clothes and certain upgrades for lowriders. But when it comes down to making money, it's just not worth it. So next up, let's talk about doing Martin's Dispatch missions. Now there's five of these, and personally, Martin's missions are some of the best missions that you can do in GTA 5 to make the most amount of money. And this is obviously fact-checked, and everybody knows this. So if you're gonna be doing these missions, prepare to make a pretty decent amount of money, but it's not gonna be an insane amount. Now, of course, you do wanna put all of the missions on hard mode. Even if you are a new player, it's just better because you'll make more money and get a lot more RP as well. Now, the mission that I was doing, I had to just go and kill a target and leave the police station after. The only downside is there is a ton of cops and I highly suggest you guys play these missions in assisted aim because in free aim, it's just kind of annoying. Unless you're really good at the game, then of course play it in free aim, it doesn't really matter. But honestly, they're not hard missions to do whatsoever. All you gotta do is go inside the police station, kill the target, leave the area, and you beat the mission. It's literally that simple, and you can complete them very, very quickly. Now, obviously you don't wanna complete these missions very fast. You don't wanna try to do a speed run and go through the mission as fast as possible because you'll end up only making like 10 grand, which honestly is not worth it at all so honestly enjoy it a little bit it is a game so you want to have fun so just walk inside the police station as you normally would just shoot the police do whatever you got to do go downstairs you can even make it rain if you want by doing the animation it doesn't really matter just have fun with it and take your time because you'll end up making the most amount of money so don't try to rush through the mission now of course the maximum amount of time to make the most amount of money i believe is around 20 minutes so if you're going to do these missions don't do them for more than 20 minutes and even then it's really not worth it to do it for 20 minutes I suggest the recommended time limit for these missions would be roughly around 10 minutes to complete them and you'll make around $30,000. Of course, you can do them for 20 minutes and you'll end up making like $45,000 maybe if you're lucky since it is double money and RP. But honestly, it's just not worth it to spend a little bit longer of a time to get a little bit more money just because you can replay another mission afterwards and get a ton of money as well from that. And then after you lose the cops, you're pretty much good and you complete the mission and you pocket a pretty decent amount of money. Now, of course, it's not an amazing amount, but it's still pretty decent. And of course, you can do it alone as well if you wanted to. So it's really not that hard to do. And $33,000 doesn't go 
a long way as it did back in the day but honestly 30 grand is better than nothing and also you get a good amount of rp as well and then you can just replay all of these missions over and over and over again well guys that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video those are the best ways that you guys can make money this week to go over it again daily objectives doing the issy races doing the lamar lowrider missions and then also martin's dispatch missions they're all really simple to do they don't take too much time the one i would highly suggest you guys do the most already if you haven't done it previously would be doing the daily objectives but if you haven't done it at all in the last seven days then it's not worth it because you won't be able to complete them in time then obviously the number one thing you guys can do to make money this week would be doing the EC Custom or EC Classic races because you will make the most amount of money from that. And of course, try to find full lobbies, keep your matchmaking open so you guys can find huge lobbies a lot quicker. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. It's always greatly appreciated if you do. Don't forget to go enter the giveaway I'm doing on my Twitter right now. We got like a thousand entries right now, which is pretty damn awesome. And of course, I'm going to be doing giveaways literally every week or every two weeks. So stay tuned. If you guys don't win this one, you have a chance at winning the next one and i might just do a couple random giveaways in videos at some point so just stay tuned and watch throughout the video and you might see a playstation xbox or a steam code throughout the video to get you guys some money anyways thank you so much for watching the whole video hopefully you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one